Jay Diggs out here, out here at Easy's house. Uh, just stopping by. We're gonna do some digging today, and man, he made, he's been making some killer finds. I was supposed to hook up with him yesterday, but um, I wasn't feeling. I wasn't feeling good. But I'm out here today, Monday. What's the date today? 17th, Monday, the 17th of August, and you can see here's some easy finds from yesterday. He found this is this is really killer. It's a Dr. W. B. C. Cadwell's Monticello, Illinois. Nice aqua blue. Got a cork top, magnesia, milk magnesia, 1906 patent date. Um, which one's this? Is this just the Bradentown? That's Columbus, Georgia. Oh, Columbus, Georgia. Green. Terracola. Terracola. We got a Bradentown, I believe, here. Yep, Bradentown. This is almost a clear one. It almost looks clear. Probably already uh, purple though. Braden Town. Um, is this whoop, easy? Does it? Um, we got a Lloyd's yesterday, Palmetto, Florida, drugs um, drugstore. But unfortunately, he's got a stress crack there and a stress crack in the front. But it displays nice. You guys see that? And oh, this is the mayor's. Wonderful stomach remedy, Chicago. That's a nice bottle. You guys can see that or not. And a couple old beers, 1890s beers. No embossing, unfortunately. And this one's cool. Um, Royal Purple. Never, never seen that familiar with that one. That's small. You can see it in my hand. It's a small bottle, but pretty cool. And it got an eagle. I've seen these before. Not as old as this one, but I've seen them. Um, looks, uh, this looks like a St. Joseph's purity flask, but it's blank. Um, we got a Heinz honey and cream. Um, cream. Yeah, honey and almond cream bottle. These are cool. I really like these. And my favorite, I think, he got himself a nice, oh, he got one little bruise, couple bruises on there, but nice Braden Town 1915 Coke. This is rare in the book, yeah, and it's in great shape. Huh? Say that shit on the video. Oh, it's got a well, it does. I gotta be honest with the viewers. <laughs> huh? Uh, he's got some bottles soaking in here, a bunch of commons we're gonna sell. And he's got some good ones over here. He's got some nice blue beers. Are these Abcos? They're not marked. A lot of these blue ones will be Abcos. I will. I mean, they're tough or anything. I'm not gonna slam them. Uh, I got a nice soda water from was this one from Tampa? Yep, Tampa. But it's got a of course it's got a stress crack in it. And Braden Town straight Coke, which would have been sweet. Still is sweet. I still like it. It's got a little still the tops chipped up, but from the Artesian Bottling Works, and that's a nice bottle. And we got a nice straight side Coke out of there, from, out of the glass yard from Tampa, right? What's it say? Tampa. I knew it was Tampa. I just got to make sure. And I think this is another Bradentown Cherokee Purple. Nice one. And I like this sauce bottle. Got this really nice sauce bottle. I hope the light's good here. But got a nice amethyst color to it. It's an old one. No older one, 1890s. And I like this. I like this uh, condiment jar. That is a really nice condiment. Nice green color. Uh, it might have been a caper jar or something like that. Olives. This probably was some kind of condiment. Look at that Gibbs bottle. Where is it? Oh. And here we got it. Oh, got a nice uh, Gibbs ketchup right here nice embossing Eric's gonna kill me some knock his bottles over and what's this one here Just it's a blank blank soda yeah blank is this one blank no okay oh we got a gross tasteless chill tonic common bottle but I love it that's a really nice gross I can see that and Nice little strap side, Wintersmith, Louisville, Kentucky. 
Oh, I love that bottle. I remember when he found that one. And this one's really cool. I've never seen one of these before. What does it say? Creomo? Creomotion? Creomotion. For coughs due to colds. That's cool, man. Why don't you give me this one? Huh? Do you see a double? <laughs> you don't need a double. <laughs> give me something. <laughs> um, we got a bunch of other uh, McCormick's tombstones in here. I like this one. I've never seen one of these. Eric got one. Easy got one of these. Um, it's got the patent date on here, July 29th, 1897. It's got a unique diamond shape. Very cool bottle. I've never seen one of these. And I like this bottle. I've never seen one of these either. Kreml screw cap, but it's sweet. It's got the. Uh, uh, it's got. It's from Connecticut, New Con Connecticut, USA. Something R. Stiller, Settler. I can't really read it. But that's a nice uh, bottle. You guys can see that. Nice little uh, cobalt. What's this one? Oh. Let's see. Is this embossed? Oh yeah. This I remember. We got this. We got a nice Mexican Mustang liniment. These are cool. Got that out of there. Very cool, nice uh, blue aqua. And we're anyway, we're fixing to get back out there this morning. And uh, today I'm gonna try to make some video. This is really cool. We got this cap. Take Nick Stokes at whatever time, one through one o'clock through twelve. Big cap. Oh, it's got the writing on this side too. Acme tumbler cover and dose indicator. Sharon Manufacturing Company, Philadelphia, 1896, November 17th, 1896, patent date. That's really cool. He's got to find the base of this today. That way we complete that. And uh, he got this out there. He's got a patent date of 1874. That would have been really nice. It looks like a mason jar lid or something. But anyway, wish us luck. We're gonna get it back out there today, guys, and we are gonna. I'm gonna try to get my first coke out of there today, hopefully, and um, <laughs> um, show him who the bottle master is today. And uh, yeah, sh ask him where all his bottles are. <laughs> anyway, stand by, guys. Uh, we'll get something going here.